Hey guys, Bill Manning with Studio C41. So it has been a minute since I've done a video and I really apologize. It has been a hot minute, but uh, life happens and uh, you know, uh, motivation and everything along those lines, but I'm not going to dive into that stuff. Uh, we'll save that for the podcast. So uh, definitely go over to iTunes and check that out. All right, so I wanted to do a video on uh, the Remjet layer specifically. So we covered EC and two, uh, the pros and cons of each one of those in my previous reviews. And one of the questions that I commonly got with Cinestill Film is, you know, hey, can I process in motion picture film? The answer is yes. And Cinestill Film says, you know, hey, you got to have either a pre bath that will uh, help process the film a lot longer, or essentially use. The chemistry as a one shot and a lot of people got turned off by that and so uh what i'm getting ready to recommend is definitely not something that is supported by cinestill film or uh, even qwd lab this is something that i just wanted to put this video to essentially just educate you guys so we have this film right here uh, this is the uh, Film Photography Project. This is 250D. This is a very common film that a lot of photographers like to shoot with um, if it's not 500T um, or 50D or anything along those lines. So the recipe that you need in order to remove the Remjet layer, you essentially have to make the pre-bath an alkaline water. And essentially alkaline is just, you know, uh, higher up on the pH scale. Essentially making that water more alkaline will cause the adhesive to break away and essentially leaving just the carbon backing on that film. Uh, so essentially you agitate it and then you pour it out. So how do you make this pre-bath? Well, it's really easy. Uh, essentially there have been a lot of different recipes out there. Um, and some say a combination of uh, baking soda, a combination of uh, washing soda and warm water. Um, that definitely will uh, achieve it, but realistically, all you need is one tablespoon of baking soda. Before you process your film, you're going to need a pre-bath. The pre-bath essentially is going to be, again, as I mentioned, one tablespoon of this baking soda and one liter of warm water. You mix in the baking soda, that makes the water alkaline, and then essentially you pour that in before you pour your developer. So for approximately two minutes and 30 seconds, you are going to vigorously shake that pre-bath in with your film, and then that will eat away the adhesive and also it will start to disturb the carbon backing uh, that's on the film. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to pour all that out. It should be a very dark liquid essentially. And then you just rinse it until it becomes clear. Once that is done, you can start your normal process and then you're done. Uh, honestly, like uh, that's that's all you need to do as, as far as the uh, remjet removal process. At that point, the remaining remjet is not going to be uh, enough to really start seeing big shifts. So essentially, that's just going to make your chemistry last a lot longer. The only additional step after all that is that once you're done processing the film, you take it out of the canister and, um, you know, uh, using your either your hands or uh, using uh, some nice soft nitrile gloves to kind of just gently wipe the last bit of that emulsion off the backside of that film. Once you're done with that, definitely dip that back into something like a, a photo flow or something along those lines to really just clean up the uh, film, get the oils off your hands, uh, and then, you know, just give it one good last rinse in some distilled water. Uh, and that should really get any of the last bit of the contaminants off of your film. That's pretty much it. Uh, I have been doing this process for about a year um, and I've been really happy with it. The ECN2 kit that I have from Cinestill Film works perfectly fine. And in reality, I wouldn't even want to get a kit from Cinestill Film or from anybody else. This is the process. It has worked great for me. Uh, that wraps it up for this quick little video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, there will be more videos to go.
All right, so until the next review video, shoot some film. Dang it.